Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the first four episodes of the series Cobra Kai, released in the year 2018. The series opens with a scene from the All Valley Under 18 Karate Tournament. In the final, two young boys named Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence are competing. Johnny trails behind in the fight until his sensei encourages him to cheat and attack LaRusso's injured leg. This helps Johnny secure a momentary lead, but LaRusso manages to knock him out with a kick and wins the competition. The series then fast-forwards to the present. A much older and unsuccessful Johnny lives in a cheap motel and works as an electrician for a living. He is a deadbeat dad and has somehow managed to get himself in the sex offenders list. Outside his home, Johnny is approached by his new young neighbor, Miguel, but the former drives away as he has no interest in befriending people. On his way to work, Johnny notices an advertisement of a more successful Daniels Auto Company on the highway and scoffs in disgust. At work, he gets in trouble with his boss and ends up losing his job. Frustrated, he drives to a mart and orders a slice of pizza for dinner. There, he notices Miguel being bullied by other teens, but he decides to ignore them until they push Miguel onto his car. This enrages him, and he beats the crap out of the bullies using karate, much to Miguel's astonishment. Soon, the cops arrive and arrest Johnny. The next day, Johnny is released from the jail, and at the motel, Miguel thanks him for saving him and pleads with him to teach him karate. Expectedly, Johnny turns him down and returns to his home. There, he encounters his stepfather, Sid, and the latter's nurse, Rhonda. It turns out that Sid bailed Johnny out. He lectures his stepson for being a bum before storming out with Rhonda. Though Sid is hard on Johnny, he always looks out for him because of the promise he made to his late wife and Johnny's mother. That evening, Johnny watches TV to forget about his woes, but when he sees yet another advertisement of Daniel's company, he smashes the TV in anger. He then decides to go for a drive and ends up at the All Valley Sports Arena where he competed with Daniel. As he gets out of his car and reminisces about his old days, a car full of rowdy teenagers slam into Johnny's parked car. Johnny loses his temper and screams at the teens, but they manage to flee. When the car doesn't start, Johnny calls a mechanic and gets his car towed. To his dismay, he soon learns that the mechanic works for Daniel's company. Next morning, he goes over to Daniel's showroom to pick up his car while trying his best to keep a low profile because he doesn't want to run into his arch nemesis. Unfortunately, he ends up encountering Daniel. The latter introduces Johnny to his employees and subtly makes fun of him while offering to repair his car for free. Johnny turns the offer down, and Daniel asks him to at least take the Daniel Auto Group's signature souvenir, a plant. When Daniel goes over to get him a plant, Johnny learns that the teenage girl who wrecked his car is Daniel's daughter, Samantha. This, along with Daniel's condescending behavior, moves Johnny, and he decides to turn his life around. He returns home and agrees to be Miguel's sensei. Johnny leases out a space and starts his own dojo. On his way to work, Daniel comes across the dojo, and it sends him down memory lane. Inside the studio, Johnny teaches his only student, Miguel. It's revealed that Miguel has asthma, but Johnny orders him to keep his weaknesses aside. Soon, a man from the city health department arrives and gives Johnny a list of requirements needed to open up an exercise studio. The man explains all the paperwork and basic requirements that need to be done, and leaves saying he'll be back for inspection another week. Later, the LaRusso family is seen at a party, except for Samantha. Daniel tries to get his video game addict son, Anthony, to take part in physical activities, but without success. He then complains to his wife, Amanda, but she convinces him to let their son be. It's then revealed that Sam isn't at the family party because she's secretly thrown a party of her own for her new, cool friends at her family home. Daniel returns home early and finds out about the party. Enraged, he embarrasses Sam in front of her friends and kicks them out. This leads to an argument between Amanda and Daniel over their children's upbringing. The latter ultimately realizes that he can't nudge his daughter in the right direction by embarrassing her in front of her friends. 
he makes up with his daughter, and when the two bond, Sam confides in him about her boyfriend, Kyler. The next day at school, Miguel joins his two new friends, Dimitri and Eli, at the cafeteria. Sam and her friends quickly grab Miguel's attention, and he tries to make the first move. However, Sam's group is joined by Kyler and other guys, prompting Miguel to walk back to his table. Later, as Johnny is teaching Miguel the basics of Cobra Strike, he suddenly gets a call from his son, Robbie's vice principal, who reveals that Robbie was found with a drug. This alarms Johnny, and he tries to talk some sense into his son, but Robbie doesn't respect him and hangs up the call. Frustrated, Johnny returns back and tells Miguel to picture his enemy and punch the dummy. Miguel obliges and punches the dummy repeatedly while remembering Kyler's face. At LaRusso's home, Kyler joins the family for dinner. They get to talking and Daniel learns that Johnny beat Kyler and his friends up. This upsets Daniel and he goes over to confront Johnny. When Daniel warns him to stay away from Sam's friends, Johnny questions the kind of company Sam is keeping. This naturally upsets Daniel and the two almost get into it until Miguel appears. In the next scene, we're shown some scenes from Miguel's house. He has cranked up music in his room and is practicing some punches. Just then, he gets called by his granny and is shortly joined over dinner by his mom. She notices some bruises on his hand and asks him about them. Miguel hesitates, but just as he's about to speak, he's interrupted by his granny. Later, Miguel is practicing really hard at the studio, punching the dummy as hard as he can. Meanwhile, Johnny looks at some paper and then toward the whiteboard. He asks Miguel if he's got some friends who'd want to join the karate classes, but gets no response. Miguel instead asks his sensei about kicking lessons, to which Johnny adds on, saying he's still got time to hop on to that section. At Daniel's, he watches his daughter kiss Kyler from the window and is worried about what his old rival told him a night back. However, Amanda calms him down, saying Kyler looks absolutely harmless and that Sam will be fine. The next scene is from school. Miss Blatt talks about cyberbullying and how it affects one's mentality, but no one really seems to be attentive. In the meantime, Miguel educates his fellow friends about the karate lesson, which Dimitri doesn't find enticing. The teacher finishes her speech by announcing the Halloween dance and requests everyone to dress well. Alicia, whom Sam's friends call a nerd, shares her costume idea with Sam. Sadly, she's body shamed by all the girls, and Sam feels sorry about it. Elsewhere, Johnny is working really hard to get more students to his karate studio. He hires the homeless lady he met at the mini-mart a few days back and asks her to hold Cobra Kai's board. To advertise his business more, he goes on distributing and sticking posters around the street. However, when he gets no response, Johnny is heartbroken. On the other hand, Daniel enters Sam's room looking for her, but realizes that she's in the shower. As he's about to leave, her laptop gets notifications that catch his attention. He sneaks on her laptop and opens Kyle's and Sam's chat. Just then, his wife arrives on the scene and interrupts him. Startled, Daniel clarifies he was just checking the Wi-Fi on Sam's laptop and leaves. Meanwhile, Johnny returns to his studio disappointed and finds the homeless woman sitting and eating her food. He also finds Miguel standing outside waiting for him. Johnny calls it an off day as he's not in the mood, but Miguel doesn't understand why and hops inside to show him the Cobra Kai webpage he created. He goes on to explain how they can do the marketing and stuff. Just then, Miguel gets a call from his mom, which he doesn't pick up. Hearing the changed caller tune, Johnny smirks a little and asks the kid to meet him at midnight to learn kicks. Back at Sam's home, everyone's at the dining table. She tells how bad she feels about Alicia, but at the same time doesn't want to dress up as per her idea. Meanwhile, Daniel, who's concerned about his daughter, tells everyone that he's going to join Sam at the Halloween party. Expectedly, this annoys Sam, but she has no choice but to agree. Later at midnight, Johnny and Miguel catch up. Johnny takes Miguel by a swimming pool, ties his hands with ropes, and pushes him into the pool. As expected, Miguel starts drowning. Soon, Johnny pulls him up by his hair, tells him to use his legs, and then throws him in again. Miguel struggles, but he hasn't been able to untie the rope yet. 
Johnny pulls him up again and throws him in again. He desperately waits for his student to untie himself and come up. After several failed attempts, Miguel finally unties himself and keeps kicking in the water to keep himself floating. Next, the teacher-student duo gets into kick practice. Miguel is extremely happy with his performance and wishes he could tell his mom about it. On the other hand, Johnny wants to drive Miguel to the Halloween party to pick up a few more students. A while later, Miguel puts on his Halloween costume, but Johnny disapproves of it and orders his student to change it. Then comes the party scene, where everyone has dressed well. Through the fog enters Miguel dressed up in a skeleton costume. He walks up to his friends dressed as a necromancer and a plastic surgeon. Daniel is also present, and he's enjoying his time. Meanwhile, Johnny goes on sticking posters around the school. In the next scene, as Sam is dancing with Kyler, she notices her friend Alicia. The duo chat for a while and plan to hang out soon. Daniel, on the other hand, is joined by Miss Blatt. Just then, he notices a guy dressed in a skeleton costume, which reminds him of a scene from his school days where he was beaten up by a group of guys wearing the same costumes. Soon, he excuses himself and goes to see a poster on the wall. It's the Cobra Kai Karate Classes poster. After following the posters, he finds Johnny in the act. Daniel confronts his old rival and asks him to stop doing whatever he's up to. In the middle of their conversation, he sees Kyler holding Sam's hand and taking her out of the party. He again excuses himself and runs after the two. At the party, the three guys, Miguel, Dimitri, and Eli, watch other people dancing from a corner. They want to ask girls for a dance, but can't. On the other corner of the room is Alicia dressed up as a sodium molecule snacking on Cheetos. Sam's friends call her names and laugh at her. Meanwhile, Sam and Kyler go into a classroom where Sam gently kisses him. Kyler asks her to help him take off his belt and this scene is seen by Sam's dad. Daniel furiously enters the room. Sam sees her dad and gets mad at him for embarrassing her in front of Kyle. Before things turn worse, Kyler takes out a bracelet from his pocket and says that it belonged to his grandma and he wanted to give it to Sam. Following the misunderstanding, Sam leaves the room angrily and goes to her girls, asking them to get out of the party. Just then, everyone's phone beeps, and it's a video message of Alicia eating Cheetos and being made fun of. Everyone in the room starts laughing at her and starts calling her names. This devastates Alicia, and Sam feels sad for her. When she can't take it any longer, she leaves the party heartbroken. In the next scene, Miguel and his friend are in the bathroom when they overhear Kyler telling his friends about the incident with Sam and her dad. It sounds as though Kyler had wrong intentions. Meanwhile, Eli mistakenly steps on something which catches Kyler and his friend's attention. Dimitri and Eli run out, but Miguel stays there and faces them eye to eye. They bully Miguel again, but this time he steps forward and kicks Kyler to the ground. Unfortunately, the other guys quickly subdue him and beat him up miserably. As Johnny finishes sticking his posters, he walks to see trophies and old photographs. Just then, the bullies come out of the bathroom bragging about the way they handled the kid. Johnny enters the room to find Miguel lying injured on the floor. Later, we see Lawrence's son, Robbie, at the Tech Town Service Center as one of the employees. A middle-aged man walks up to Robbie and hands over his crashed laptop to him. Robbie starts explaining technical things to the man, but the latter doesn't even give a shade of it. Hence, he decides to leave his device behind and get back after an hour. Robbie asks for the laptop's password for logging into the device and gets it very easily. In the next scene, as Robbie is about to leave with the laptop on his skateboard, he notices a piece of paper lying on the floor. He picks it up and sees his dad on it. However, he immediately throws it away and leaves with his friends. On the streets, Johnny is seen with a bundle of his business posters and cans. He is drinking and remembering the after incidents of the party. As Miguel was injured, he had carried him home. His mom gets horrified looking at her son and warns Johnny to stay away from him. Wandering the streets drunk, he sees an artist painting on the street walls and trades his cans for the spray paint. 
Elsewhere, Daniel is trying to make up with Sam for last night and prepares her favorite pancakes. However, Sam leaves the house without turning back at her father. Daniel sighs and drives to his work. On the way, he receives a call from his wife, who tells her about the billboard. On driving a few meters ahead, Daniel sees his hoarding board with a dick scribbled on his mouth. He can't stand it for even a second and calls the cops to file a complaint. Back at Miguel's house, he's lying on the sofa. His mom hands him an ice pack and a glass of juice. Mom insists on telling the school authority about the incident, but Miguel thinks it will just worsen the situation. He insists on learning more karate, but his mom clearly denies it. Just then, his granny comes into the frame and supports his decision, saying he needs more practice. However, the mom still doesn't approve of her son's company with Johnny. In the next scene, Johnny is lying on the floor completely drunk when he receives a call from Robbie's vice principal, who informs him that Robbie's been out of school for a month. Although taken aback, he assures that Robbie will be in school soon and hangs up the call. Later, as he's about to leave home, he finds Miguel waiting outside. He tells the kid to stop seeing him and that the studio is now closed. At school, everyone is mocking Alicia, snorting like pigs. Sam sees it all and feels bad about it. She walks to Alicia to talk, but the latter walks out, showing how hurt she is by the bullying. Shortly after that, Kyler surprises Sam and hugs her from behind. He tells her about the movie date. Elsewhere, a delivery guy comes to deliver a hundred sausages which Daniel has no idea about. He checks the bills and sees it was sent by a man named Tom. He then calls his workers who've gone to paint off the billboard and gets mad seeing they haven't painted over the dick yet. In the meantime, Robbie and his friends are watching videos on the stolen laptop when Johnny bumps into them. The father-son duo gets into a series of arguments, which ends with Robbie insulting his dad and sending him away by smashing the door behind him. In the next scene, Miguel and his friends are discussing the Halloween party sitting at the library. Dimitri thinks it was insane to fight the bullies, while Eli doesn't think that way. After a while, Kyler joins them, and just when Miguel and his friends are about to leave, Kyler holds Eli by his face and bullies him. Miguel can't bear it and speaks for his friend. Hearing this, Kyler throws Eli away and starts messing with Miguel. This time, however, Miguel refrains from fighting and leaves with his friends. Surprisingly, Sam is watching all this and she's taken aback. Elsewhere, Daniel and his wife have a meeting with the marketing team who show them what his business rival, Tom Cole, is up to. Daniel watches the video and leaves the room without uttering a word. Later, he goes to Cole Motors and rants to Tom about stealing his ideas. Tom makes fun of Daniel and everyone in the showroom laughs at him. He leaves no chance to make fun of the billboard incident either. Enraged, Daniel turns and back kicks the bubble tea in his hand. Everyone in the showroom looks at it shocked and speechless. After a while, a content Daniel leaves the place. Meanwhile, Sam and Kyler are at the movies. Kyler makes his move and tries kissing Sam, but the latter backs off and tells him that she saw everything he did to those kids in the library. Kyler tries defending himself, saying that they're his friends, but Sam doesn't look happy. In an attempt to win her back, Kyler starts touching her thighs, but it immediately backfires. Sam throws him back, stands up, and leaves the hall. In the next scene, Johnny is having his meal at a restaurant when he notices a father and son across the table and gets emotional looking at them. He then stands in front of Miguel's house, convinces his mom to let him teach Miguel karate, and leaves realizing she's not convinced. The next morning at Daniel's, he prepares breakfast and calls his kids. Anthony comes in first, followed by his sister. Surprisingly, Sam is no longer angry with her dad, and she smiles and sits down for breakfast. She then discloses to her family that she's no longer seeing Kyler, and teases her dad for being happy about that. In the last scene, as Johnny is packing up his trophies in boxes, Miguel enters the studio and informs him that his mom has agreed to the karate training. The episode ends as Daniel figures out the person behind the dick blunder and starts plotting revenge. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this.
and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.